Yes, Diane, North Carolina employees at a grocery store made a shocking discovery when the body of a newborn baby girl had to be only a couple days old, was found in the bathroom, in the ladies' bathroom, in a trash can. The baby was wrapped in a white blanket with angels embroidered on it. Police were working to find the mother at that time. Uh, let's bring in Mark Schulman. He is on the scene. He's an online editor with the Hendersonville Times News. Uh, uh, Mark, thanks for joining us. Tell us about this surveillance video we're seeing here. It looks pretty crisp compared to some of the surveillance video I've seen. Uh, yes, it did. It, it revealed a lot for the, for the local authorities. And, and there were clues left behind. As Matt was saying, there was a blanket and we hear a, a ring. What do you know about those two items? Well, I know that the, uh, the blanket was a white blanket the infant was wrapped in and uh, mm -hmm. had Spanish words that uh, translated to my baptism on it. Oh. And there were also reports that the baby wore a small gold ring on one of her fingers. You know, uh, Mark, when I look at that blanket, it, it's a beautiful baptism blanket, a, a gift. Someone knew that whoever had that baby was pregnant and gave it to her as a gift. That's a clue that somebody else out there knows it. It also has um, uh, Spanish words on it. So how big is the Hispanic population there? Uh, we do have a striving uh, Hispanic population here in Hendersonville. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, ha have police told you anything more about any other clues they have, perhaps about the man we see in that video? Uh, yes, uh, that is, in the video, it appeared that the two people were teenagers, and the police have actually found the mother and the man in the video. Oh, my. In fact, let, let's bring in uh, the Captain uh, David Abrams. He is with the Hendersonville Police Department. Th this is breaking news for us here. Special guest from the police department there. Captain Adams, thanks for, thanks for calling in. What can you tell us? You have found a suspect? We've identified the mother and oh. the, the male in the video, from the, which aired on the local media outlets. I see. And, and is uh, this the mother and father of the baby? Do we know about the man? We, we do know that she is the mother. Uh, we have, are in the process of interviewing the male with her this evening. Right. Ca Captain, I know this is probably at a very sensitive time for you, uh, breaking news here for us tonight. Uh, but what can you tell us about how you either found this woman or did she voluntarily come in? Well, fortunately, we had very good media coverage from the newspapers and the media or the TV stations and mm -hmm. the calls we received uh, led us to these people. You know, uh, it, it's just heartbreaking to think that somebody dumped a, a, a day or two old infant into a trash can. D has she given you any indication as to why she did that? Was the baby already dead? Uh, the baby was deceased when it was uh, dropped off at Bilo, yes. Oh, I see. Was, it, it, do we have details about the, the birth of this child? And that's what we're, the, our investigators are still sorting out tonight. You know, uh, Sunday, the baby is a couple of days old, and I know that you all are probably at that time worrying about Hurricane Irene coming through your town and your state. Did, did the, w w was this couple cut off from hospital care or something? Uh, not that I'm aware of. I mean, we're several hour, hours away from the beach, so the hurricane wouldn't have affected us. But, oh. uh, we, I don't know why she did not seek medical attention. Hopefully we'll find that out tonight. So, Captain, we're thinking that this was a stillborn? Is that what we think? Uh, we've indicated, or it's been indicated so far, that the, the child was born alive. So we're waiting to determine the cause of